Hey there, Pipers. Still drinking. Coming at you with a quick VR for our local brother, Island Piper. Actually, there's going to be a couple of things in the VR. He had, he had asked that, uh, question number one, we'd be smoking our favorite pipe with our favorite tobacco. And <clears throat> it's, it's really hard to, to pick either of, the, or e either of those at any time because I have a lot of favorite tobaccos and a lot of favorite pipes. But this one was just delivered to me. And it is the TPC pipe of 2014, Mark Balkovic. Upon inspection, the bowl, there's no stain at all running over into the bowl. Perfectly drilled chamber. We've got no pits whatsoever. Seamless connection between the stem and shank. Beautiful Cumberland stem. Absolutely ridiculously thin button. Mm, feels a little thicker than his other pipes, but the airway looks a lot bigger too. He has it filed out. The tenon is also Cumberland, so he didn't put like uh, the Delrin rod in there. Slightly beveled chamber. All right, wasted enough time. Let's fire it up. So, question number one. Favorite pipe, my Balkovic Devil's Ants. Favorite tobacco, Mississippi River. Second question was uh, to talk about kind of our progression of tobacco. And when I first started, uh, I went to my local B&M Tobaccos of Hawaii and purchased a four, four ounce bag of hazelnut tobacco and a four ounce bag of straight burley and a tin of nightcap. So in the beginning, like everybody else, I was a dedicated uh, aromatic smoker and I made the mistake, I made the mistake of trying nightcap. That was the second type of tobacco I tried. Oh my God, it killed me. I immediately got rid of that shit. Could not stand it. Now. I was heavy into aromatics until uh, maybe the middle of this year I seen on Pipes and Cigars they had Christmas Cheer 2011 so it was already aged a few years and it was a Virginia blend and every other non-aromatic I tried I did not like and then I stumbled upon that Christmas Cheer 2011 smoked it could not believe the flavors I got out of it I think what happened was I smoked it in a smaller pipe and was able to get all the Virginia flavors and just decided to, just was fantastic. Just could not believe it. From that moment forward, I knew what I had to do to find, uh, or to try and, you know, fumble my way through finding the right pipe for my Virginias and Englishes, and I left aromatics behind me, never turned back. So my current favorite aromatic is none. I would smoke anything if I had to, if I'm around people and I don't want to offend, and I'll find some random aromatic to smoke, but I don't enjoy the taste of it. I just want to smoke and not offend people. Favorite Virginia? God, that's a hard one. I know um, Hearth and Home Louisiana Red is a very nice bunch of red Virginias. And I think I've heard Red Cake, I think it's McClellan's Red Cake is also pretty good for Virginia's um, English. Uh, I'm currently on Northwoods if you want a nice mellow but flavorful English. I should say smooth but flavorful English. Uh, if you're looking more for like a Balkan blend, Blue Mountain, beautiful. Either one of those I, I recommend. Um, I think that was it for the for the questions. Well, Island Piper, congratulations on the subs, my brother. You probably get uh, a ton more, I'm sure. I uh, hope to see you at the next meetup. When I get word of it, uh, I'll PM you. PM you the information when we start, um, when we get a date set down, and hopefully you'll be able to make it. Again, congrats on the subs. Thank you for the contest, and stay smoky, my friends. So I totally forgot one of the aspects of your uh, contest was our statue. If we were a statue, what would the pose be? And mine would be the thinker. That's what I do. <laughs>